What is up you guys? I am Missy Renee and in today's video we're going to talk about resistance and how this can affect you and your manifestation practice. So if manifestation and conscious creation are topics that you are interested in learning more about then definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that way you're notified when I put out new content every week. If you're interested in more resources such as one-on-one -on -one coaching I will have the links down below to sign up so definitely be sure to check them out. So this video is another subscriber request and this is a topic that absolutely needs to be discussed because this is something that affects virtually everyone. Not only when you're new, it can even rear its ugly head when you've been doing this for some time. But there's also a lot of confusion around resistance and what this means because a lot of people are taking things that they've learned from the law of attraction teachings which are not always accurate. So if you're struggling and you're feeling like there's some resistance in your manifestation practice and you want to get to the bottom of it and get rid of it, then definitely be sure to stick around through the very end of the video because we're going to talk about resistance, what it is, and most importantly, how to get rid of it for good. So first off, what exactly is resistance? Because there is all sorts of sayings and teachings about this topic, but a lot of it misses the mark and a lot of it really doesn't go into enough detail in explaining what exactly it is and how you can actually move past it to finally manifest what you want. When you're able to remove resistance, when you're able to get past these hindrances, you'll also notice your manifestations showing up much faster. But when I say resistance, I'm not talking about the need to just prattle on a bunch of affirmations and parrot them over and over again. I'm not talking about needing to heal your inner child or do any kind of shadow work or any of any, none, no. <laughs> none of that is necessary. In short, resistance is when we're trying to manifest something and it doesn't feel possible or it doesn't feel believable. It doesn't feel natural to you. And that is the key takeaway, the feeling of naturalness. Because if it doesn't feel natural to you, you're gonna really start to doubt it. And as you know, if you watch my channel, doubt is the manifestation killer. Resistance is simply lack of belief in your desired reality. This resistance happens when your current version of your self-concept is not the same person that has your desire or is the person that you desire to be. So this leaves you in the state of wanting and needing and craving and longing versus being in a state where you believe that you have it already. Because for the one millionth time, you only manifest what you believe to be true. You only manifest those assumptions and those concepts and ideas that you identify with and that you feel is truth. So how can we get rid of this resistance that we feel? How can we better get ourselves in a position where we can believe the things that we desire, where we can believe that we are that person so we can better embody the version of us that we desire to be without that resistance holding us back? The first thing that I would recommend is to work on the general concepts first. So if you are affirming and believing that you're not good enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not talented enough, that your SP clearly loves somebody else, they could never really love you because you're not this, this, and that, that is a belief. If you're constantly having these inner conversations and this inner self-talk of they rejected me so clearly that means that I'm not good enough, something must be wrong with me, everybody just seems to always leave me anyways, these are things that you're typically telling yourself or if these things that feel natural to you and that you believe is true, then therein lies a problem because that belief that you've held on to and is clearly much stronger because it feels natural to you, because it has been repeated to you, because that's been your experience in the past, whatever it may be, but the beliefs that you carry, if they are going against whatever it is you're trying to manifest, you're gonna hit that roadblock. 
So when you're trying to manifest something specific and when you're trying to visualize or affirm that you are already in a committed relationship with your SP, but you're holding on to these beliefs that are quite frankly self-sabotaging and you're constantly noticing their absence and you're constantly acknowledging the lack and you're constantly looking at why they're not here yet and you're constantly acknowledging how long they've been gone and how long it's been when you're doing all these this is the exact opposite of what you need to be doing if your ultimate goal is to manifest a healthy happy relationship with your sp so first and foremost you have to get to the bottom of these more generalized broader beliefs that you carry and eradicate them so let's say for example that you have not the greatest self-esteem you may not think that you're attractive you might not think that you're charismatic enough you may not be very confident in your abilities and relationships these are the more general concepts that we should be always working on and improving and I would honestly recommend to try to start here first because if you have a belief that you're unlovable or that people just always wind up leaving you or that things never go your way and you can never get what you want then that's going to affect your specific manifestation that's going to fall under that belief umbrella and that's where that resistance is met when you try to go against a belief that you carry and that you hold strongly that's where you're going to be met with that brick wall so going more general with your assumptions and with your affirmations is going to be so incredibly helpful here for an example one of my absolute favorite affirmations or one of my favorite things to tell myself throughout the day and really resonate with is every day things are getting better and better every day I'm making more and more progress. Every day, I'm feeling better and better about myself. Every day, I'm feeling more and more confident. The key is making it feel natural, making it feel normal, making it feel believable. This way, you are prepping your mind and you are getting yourself primed for that new belief and for that specific manifestation that you want to happen you're going to have a much easier time manifesting from a place of i am loved i am wanted i am irresistible if these can be the dominant beliefs that you hold you're going to find that you have a much more expedited and easier time trying to manifest anything more specific so try going a bit more general and instill that new belief versus keeping a hold of the new one and trying to force it and trying to force your manifestation through anyways because that's not going to work. <laughs> you can repeat something all day long, forever and eternity, but if you are still met with a bunch of doubt, if you are still unconvinced, if you do not believe it, you will not see it. The second tip I have for you guys when it comes to eradicating resistance is to stop affirming that you have resistance. Carrying the belief that you have resistance to your manifestation or that you have a block somewhere can turn into a hindrance in itself. Resistance just means that it doesn't feel natural and normal to you because you don't believe that it's true. But if you insist on affirming and telling yourself that you have all this resistance against your manifestation or you have a block somewhere and that's why you can't manifest it, then that's going to manifest for you. You're going to manifest having the resistance and having the blocks and not being able to manifest it. So instead of affirming that you're always met with resistance, instead tell yourself that no, actually anything is possible. And I can absolutely believe this to be true because I form my beliefs. Beliefs are not facts. And let me repeat that. Beliefs are not factual. Beliefs can be changed. If you can change the belief, you can release the resistance. So remind yourself that you don't have any blocks or resistance unless you are declaring and assuming and believing that you do. And if you are believing that, then tell yourself, all I need to do is change the beliefs that I have around this. And I can do that by questioning my beliefs because 
beliefs aren't facts. I'm not good enough for my SP? Screw that. I'm more than good enough. They love me. They adore me because I'm amazing. I'm one hell of a catch. They want to be with me all the time because who wouldn't want to be with me all the time? I'm funny. I'm smart. I'm charismatic. I am sexy as hell. I am an incredible partner. I am worth it. Everybody loves me. Everybody adores me. You just have to remember a time that you were loved and that you were wanted and that you were on your A game and that you did something amazing. Think of an accomplishment that you did. Think of a time that you received a bunch of compliments. Think about all the times where you were kicking ass in life. Charge yourself up and really pick yourself up from the place of being a victim to your circumstances. You are so much more than that. Everybody has at least one good memory in their entire life. So resonate with that, meditate on that, and realize that your beliefs can change. If you're met with resistance, that's just because you don't believe it. You don't feel it's natural. You don't feel it's normal for you. But even if that's the case, screw it. You can change it. You know why? Because you can literally do anything. But do not get hung up on resistance and blocks or you're going to be met with more resistance and blocks. Now that you understand what that means and you know how to get rid of them, push it aside. Blocks? What blocks? I always manifest what I want. I manifest so easily. I, it's effortless. Why would I waste my time trying to convince myself that I have this resistance? That's not going to bring me my manifestation. That's not going to change anything. That's just going to make it worse. So I'm going to choose to believe that this thing is true because all things are possible, all things exist, and I am the God of my reality and I say so. Which brings me to number three, and that is self-concept is everything. We got to work on our image, our self-image as a whole, because your concept is the combination of your beliefs, your assumptions, your expectations, your reactions, your perceptions, how you view the world, how you view other people, how you view yourself, that is the sum total of all of that. If your self-image is one of, I'm not good enough, I can't get this, I don't deserve this, why is it not here yet, that's because you are not confident in yourself and your abilities, and that's okay, but we're gonna have an issue here if we don't acknowledge this. You can create a self-image that is powerful because, again, beliefs can be changed. You can instill a new belief. You can instill new concepts about yourself. You do it all the time. You've done it throughout your life. There's no exception here. Create the self-concept, an image that you are a powerful manifester. You can do anything. You are totally 100% confident in your abilities to manifest. Everything always goes well for you. Everything always works out in your favor. You always get what you want. Work on that image. Work on that concept of self. I cannot stress hard enough how important it is that our self-concept needs to line up with the version of us that we desire to be or whatever it is that we desire to have. You can't have love from a place of feeling unwanted and unlovable. You can't manifest wealth from a place of feeling poverty or impoverished or lack or missing. So create that image. Create the self-concept of you that you desire to be, where you are completely and totally confident in your abilities, that you manifest whatever you want effortlessly, that you don't have any doubts, you don't have any resistance, you don't have any blocks, none of that. If you make this your foundation, the whole world is yours. And lastly, remember that the opposite of resistance is persistence. And there's a reason that I stress persisting so much because these habits, these beliefs, these concepts that we hold did not form overnight. So it would be really unrealistic to expect that you're gonna be able to form these new concepts and new beliefs overnight as well. It took years of repetition 
and repeating the same thing over and over again before that thought or that idea formed an assumption, formed a belief, formed a habit. Through that same repetition, you can instill the new habits, you can instill the new beliefs, you can instill the new concepts, but you cannot be unrealistic with yourself. It's going to take some persisting. And the longer that you hold this off, the more that you succumb to your observations and your doubts and your limiting beliefs and all of the crap that you don't want, it's going to take longer and longer because your self-concept is everything. And if you can change the concept of self, which spoiler alert, you can, then you can change any aspect of you, any belief that you carry, any assumption that you hold, you can change all of that. And once you do that, you're good. We have to remember that persistence is key. Your current beliefs, your current thoughts and assumptions and concepts did not form there overnight. You did not create them in a day. You need to form new habits. You need to form new beliefs for things to really take hold. And that is done through persistence. Even when it's not always believable, even when you react to your 3D, even when you notice the lack of your desire, you gotta get yourself back in that state of the wish fulfilled and persist in that state. The opposite of resistance is persistence. So keep going. Because the first thing that you need to do is create a foundation and fertile soil so that your seed, your desire, can be planted and can actually grow. It cannot grow in a toxic environment. You cannot manifest love from a place of feeling unloved. You cannot manifest wealth from a place of feeling lack and poverty. Build your foundation first. Build that self-concept first. Work on those beliefs and work on those assumptions and work on those perspectives about yourself and the world around you. Once you are able to lay down that foundation and change that image and really focus on believing and assuming that you are now the person that you desire to be and you are stepping into your power now and that you can do anything. When you've created the image of a badass manifester who can do whatever they want, the world is yours for the taking. So I hope this video helped. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in checking out any of my other resources, I will leave the links below to one-on-one -on -one coaching, my blog, and my social links. So don't forget to check those out. And be sure to check out these videos over here. Each video is a different topic, but they all pertain in how to manifest the very best life possible. So until we meet again, take care, be well, and don't ever forget, you're a powerful creator. And once you accept this is true, you can do anything that you want. Happy manifesting, guys.